That's very significant. You know, just getting the credibility of a multinational company to come in and uh, work with us shows that we are on the right track when it comes to vertical integration and, and our whole business plan. And uh, what this is going to do for us in 2025 is significant as it uh, will help advance all our projects forward and uh, allow us to acquire all the capital we need to uh, launch Voyager and, uh, and begin becoming a major producer of contrast medium. All right, welcome back inside our proactive newsroom. And joining me now is Brent Willis. He's the CEO of Voyager Pharmaceuticals. And Brent, it's great to see you again. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, and uh, I, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to get you on to talk about uh, some news that you had just towards the end of, of 2024, uh, very significant news. We'll get to that in just a second, but first, maybe just remind everyone a little bit about the company and the work that you're doing. Sure. We're a radiology drug company where uh, these drugs are used to uh, diagnose disease uh, in imaging, and uh, it's a uh, over $6 billion a year market. And uh, GE Healthcare came out in uh, in 2022 and stated it's going to double in the next 10 years. So it's uh, it's a great market to be in, and we're vertically integrating this market. So we're sourcing our own minerals, and which are in short supply, and uh, demand is outstripping supply. And uh, North America is 100% dependent on imports of these drugs. So we'll be the first company vertically integrating, reducing our costs and providing a secure supply chain for North America. Yeah, which is obviously very key. And Brenda, I mentioned you had some news out uh, just before uh, the new year, and that was the fact that you've signed a, a letter of intent with a major multinational pharmaceutical company. And you can't name them, but this is a significant deal for the company. Yeah, it's very significant. You know, just getting the credibility of a multinational company to come in and uh, work with us shows that we are on the right track when it comes to vertical integration and, and our whole business plan. And uh, what this is going to do for us in 2025 is significant as it uh, will help advance all our projects forward and uh, allow us to acquire all the capital we need to uh, launch Voyager and, uh, and begin becoming a major producer of contrast medium. Yeah. And, and is that the key of, of just being having that backing of, of someone, a large company like that, especially for a company your size to be able to push everything forward? That really it would, I would think, set you up for a really big 2025. Yeah, absolutely. It's not just, uh, you know, the financing component that will come into play here with uh, multinational company. But in addition, it's going to bring credibility, which allows us to uh, uh, finance through uh, institutional investors and uh, to move every segment of our of our company forward. And that's what's significant. So we're going to be uh, uh, sitting in a great position in 2025. We got many milestones to hit in 2025. We're uh, working on our uh, testing of our products. We have five Health Canada licensed bearing contrast products we're going to market with. And uh, we're going to be advancing with the FDA uh, this year as well with those products. So uh, everything is looking uh uh, really great, and everything is on track for uh, a very profitable and uh, great year for Voyager. Yeah, great. So, and Brent, one last question, and that is just so people understand here, there, has there been much um, advancement in in the particular industry that you're in and in the diagnostics there, or is this something that that really will will make a change into the into the market itself? Well, on the barium contrast side, there's only one real large player in that segment. And there's been uh, very limited uh, development of those products. So we spent 18 months reformulating and uh, creating new products that we believe are gonna perform better. And uh, it'll allow us to move forward with the FDA uh, to register as new drugs. And uh, that also will add value to our company. Absolutely. Brent, thanks so much. Great to see you. Congratulations on this. And we look forward to our next conversation, okay? Yeah, thank you very much. All right, Brent Willis, the CEO of Voyager Pharmaceuticals.